Uh, hi everybody, I'm going to present you uh, PyUTV, uh, which is a Python uh, library, an extension of Orflow Toolbox made for Python. So if you don't know about Orflow Toolbox, it's a remote sensing uh, toolbox. And I'm going to present you uh, the PyUTV uh, library through some examples. First, uh, let's start with a simple uh, use case of uh, remote sensing. Let's consider that we want to do some punch sharpening. Uh, if you are a usual uh, Python developer, uh, the first thing you do when you want to do some patch sharpening is to search on the internet for some libraries or some pieces of, of code that do what you want to do. And once you have found something like that looks interesting, you need to try it. You copy paste it. And here is a sample of code where we use a raster IO for reading the satellite images. And here we paste the function we found on Google and we try it. And we are faced with this kind of memory. <laughs> this is one of the main issues uh, when you're a Python developer doing remote sensing, is that uh, you can be faced with a memory error because satellite images processing does not necessarily uh, fit in RAM. Also, we have seen when searching on Google that the second issue is that it's not always easy to find some uh, high-level remote sensing uh, libraries. So let me introduce you to uh, PyUTV now. So when we use PyUTB, uh, we just need uh, one line to define the bundle to perfect sensor application, which is implemented in our flow toolbox. Here we define the application, and the second line is for writing the result. So on line two, uh, it's some lazy processing. We only define what is going to happen, and the real computation occurs on line three. So we see that we have no problem with memory error. Uh, we took advantage of the already implemented uh, punch sharpening of our field toolbox, and that the PyUTB syntax is easy to write. So now let's go for a further, uh, more complex use case. Let's consider that uh, from uh, satellite images, we want to uh, label uh, some parcel and some plots uh, that are not covered with vegetation, as we can see on the right side and for each parcel to assign uh, an integer index. So the piece of code for this is based on PyOTB, but also Rasta.io and SciPy. We're going to see how these three can interact. The punch sharpening is the same as before, but we don't need to write the result to disk. And then for computing the vegetation index, we can use this uh, Python syntax, which is quite usual when you are uh, used to it. And then, from this NDVI, we uh, select only uh, the pixels that are whose NDVI is less than 0.3. So once again, we can use the Python syntax for it. Uh, now we are going to use the metadata we have with the satellite image. We have a clone mask, which is a vector, and we rasterize it. And from this uh, clone mask raster, we're going to apply it to the bare soils we have computed before we, with this syntax. So as I said before, up to line six, no computation has occurred. It was some lazy processing, just defining what was going to happen. And when we export to Raster.io at line seven, it's where the real computation occurs, and the array, the array is loaded to memory. And now we can work on the array to use whichever uh, fu function we want. Here we choose to use the uh, ndiimage.label uh, uh, function to get uh, the result I had uh, introduced. And for writing the result to disk, we can use good old uh, raster IO uh, syntax. So that's it. In conclusion, uh, PyUTB uh, takes the advantages of uh, Orpheo to box, but make it easy to write in Python. And we have implemented ways to interact with uh, Python libraries. And here's a code sample uh, to finish.